Hello YouTube, this is a video on a 10 year old computer with an Athlon 64 CPU attempting to run Windows 8.1. I've already installed Windows 8.1 Pro, 32 bit of course on this system. The system supports an Athlon 64, 3200 plus, which is a 2 GHz CPU, it has 2 GB of RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce FX 5200, which is too slow for Windows 8. Heck, it was already too slow for Aero in Windows 7. But uh, this thing refuses my uh, trusty G4 6200 card, so just blue screens like the hell of it. So, without further ado, let's get to the computer itself. Let me turn off my light here for a minute. There we are. This is the screen, this is the start screen of Windows 8.1. As you can see, it installed just fine on this Athlon 64, which is a 10 year old CPU now. So let's open the desktop here. As you can see that was fairly snappy. So as you can see down here we have CPU Z over here. And it currently shows the state of the CPU. And it's running at 1 GHz, which is this, the low power state. This is a Venice Athlon 64 CPU. So it's only a 2 GHz CPU as you can see. And it can still run Windows 8 just fine. Let me minimize that. Let me bring up Microsoft Office Word 2007. See, that opened up pretty quickly. And we are now ready to start typing. It is a relatively fresh install, so thing is very snappy. And I can't type tonight. Perfectly responsive. Doesn't skip a beat. Let's close that down again. Same goes for Excel, probably. Let's open up Excel. See, very, very quickly. That is some performance, people. So let's go to the system properties. Just showing around for overall usability of the system. That came up pretty quickly as well. And the animation was sort of fluent. I can even drag the window around without lagging. Close it down again. As you can see, it lagged a little bit. This time it did not. Sometimes it skips a few frames, but that's fine. So let's open up Internet Explorer. No people are going to hate me for this. <laughs> let's open up YouTube, for, for instance. As you can see, it takes a while to load because it's an old CPU. And everything is loaded. All the thumbnails are loaded. As I scroll down, all it, it just catches up again. But after it's loaded everything, as you can see, scrolling is smooth. Not really much slower than Windows XP, really. So I guess uh, you could say that uh, an Athlon 64 could handle Windows 8.1 just fine. Well, a lot of Pentium 4s that did not have 64-bit technology could not run Windows 8 at all. So that's pretty interesting. It cannot handle HD video on YouTube, though. So that's, uh, that's a bit of a shame, but it just can't handle it. Let's close that down again. So if we go back to the start screen, as you can see, it's not really... Well, the animation is actually pretty fluent. It only skips a few frames. So we can now just go to the uh, newly installed app screen where everything is located, all the apps that I've installed. You can see I've got Office around here. So let's just open up something we have right here that should uh, bring it down to its knees. Let's open up the magnifier. So let's see. Let's magnify 300%. See, you can handle it just fine. This is just perfect. See, even a 10-year-old CPU can handle this just fine. So I'm test manager here. Came up pretty quickly. Got a lot of processes running here. Open up full screen. Didn't seem to care that much. So we've stretched this out, which did skip a few frames. 
See, it has a bit of diff. It has some difficulties resizing a window. But CPU utilization didn't spike all that much. There's the clock speed, which is very dynamic indeed. And this is the memory usage. So it's only using about 750 megs, as you can read there. So, what does this mean for you? Well, basically, if you have a 10 year old PC that has an Athlon 64 CPU, you can just upgrade to 2 gigs of RAM and you can run Windows 8.1 just fine. As long as you have at least an NVIDIA GeForce FX5200 video card, which was very common at the time, so that shouldn't be that much of a problem. If it could run Arrow under Windows Vista or 7, it can run Windows 8, Windows 8 interface just fine as well. Even though Windows 8 doesn't have Arrow, the graphical interface is still pretty demanding at times. So. And it's still running very comfortably at 1 GHz, it's just not doing anything at all, as you can see. So the Athlon 64 is not obsolete yet, as you could see here, and it can run Windows 8.1 just fine. Let's go back to the app start screen. I'm pretty much out of stuff to show here, because it's all just working just fine. You know, one last thing, I'll just uh, open up a video from my uh, network drive. Let's see. I should have something that is sort of HD, I think. Uh, probably not. I'll just open up an episode of Futurama. With Windows Media Player. Okay, let's get that sorted. It's loading from the network right now. This motherboard only supports 100 megabit ethernet, so it takes a while. Now I'll just uh, try to reopen it. Okay, there we go. See, it has some difficulties playing HD content. So this is, this is 720p content. See, it's a bit sluggish, but that's because the video card can't handle this type of content. But if we resize it back to a window of this size, it works just fine. As long as I don't uh, stretch it out to 1080p, it works just fine. So this is a 720p window, and it runs fine. If I stretch it to 1080p, it starts lagging. But heck, it's a 10-year-old computer, what do you expect? So, that pretty much sums it up. That is my video of the AMD Athlon 64 CPU running Windows 8.1, proving that the Athlon 64, even though it's 10 years old, is not obsolete at all. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you all for watching.